Algebra 1, number 1.9b, we're going to talk about dimensional analysis. As we saw in the last video about using a formula, we're in 1.9b, that was 1.9a. We need to make sure our values are compatible. If we have different measurement units, we need to convert them to the same type of unit of measure. When we carry the dimensions through a computation, it's called dimensional analysis. So if we have hours and minutes, we need to change it to hours and hours. And if we have uh, minutes and seconds, we need to change it to minutes and minutes, or seconds and seconds, and inches to inches, and so on. They need to be the same increments, OK? So let's take a look at this. We've got p equals 2l plus 2w. That's the formula we use to find the perimeter of a rectangle. The perimeter is equal to 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. Well, if a rectangle has a length of 10 feet and a width of 24 inches, what's the perimeter? So we can see that it's got 10 feet and 24 inches, and those are different increments. So because 24 inches, 12 inches and 12 inches makes 2 feet, that's 24, we can just change the 24 inches to 2 feet. That's easy. So now we've got the length is 10 feet. We've got two of those. That's 2 times 10 feet, and the width is 2 feet because we changed it from the 24 inches. So now we've got 2 times 2. All we have to do is do the math. 2 times 10 feet is 20 feet. 2 times 2 feet is 4 feet. we got 24 feet for our perimeter. See? You're just going to make sure they're compatible. Let's take a look at this. For sales tax of 5%, the formula to find sales tax on an item would be T equals 0.05P. And T is the tax, P is the price, and that 0.05 is the 5%. We had to change that 5% to a decimal form to be compatible to the money amount. If a cupcake is $2 with a 5% sales tax, what's the amount of sales tax due? The tax is equal to 0.05 times that $2. 0 0.05 times 2 is 10 cents. So we write it like this. We could also use the cent sign, couldn't we? We could have gone like this, 10 cents. But because we're using decimal points in here and here, it's better to do it this way because we're keeping it all compatible, OK? That's the dimensional analysis. So remember, dimensional analysis is carrying that same dimension through the problem so the values are compatible. If you're doing this, you want to make sure you've got inches and inches or feet or feet or, you know, you don't want one to be a decimal and the other one to be a percent, okay? All right, we're going to talk about writing formulas for different shapes in the next video. That's 1.9c. We're almost done with Chapter 1. Bye.